please welcome to the stage, Alan O'Reilly. How's it going? Well, it's a crack, Jesus, I'm all a tangle now, hang on. It's like fucking Jenga from hell. How are you? My name's Alan. Could have been Alan, I was born with a very long labia. Touch and go, very confused, very confused. And I'm celebrating tonight, lads. Because I am one year in the clear from the big C. Yeah. That's right, I had the clap. <laughs> no, lads, I am in remission from breast cancer. Yes, I'm a survivor. Yeah. That means you can't con me off now because everyone's going to judge you, you know. <laughs> I'll try to drop the C card. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, so basically, yeah, I had cancer. And um, I'll never forget the moment uh, the doctor turned around to me and says, you have stage three breast cancer. I was like, fucking hell, lads. My life flashed before my eyes. I was like, oh, my God. I have to do all the things I've never done before in my life, you know. I have to go deep sea diving with blind alsatians. <laughs> I need to uh, spit on a nun. <laughs> I'm Catholic. You'll get it. Uh, I need to kick the homeless. <laughs> Y'all want to do it. I know. I need to tickle the underhang of Hugh Jackman when he's not looking, you know? <laughs> all these things, all these things. And uh, I was getting all sorts of, and I, I just had a panic attack. I was just having a complete meltdown and the nurse was like, look, just calm down, calm down. You only have a 25% chance of death. <laughs> Cheers for that, happy Christmas, you know? <laughs> That's what every girl wants to hear. So uh, I was getting all sorts of other weird reactions as well. Like, you know, I remember when I told my mother in the news and she was crying all about the hair loss. She was like, oh, my God. Oh, no, you're going to leave your beautiful fucking hair. Oh, no, please, you're going to look like a ball bag. <laughs> oh, you're going to look like Sinead Connor except you don't really have the face for it. <laughs> or the political standpoint or any sort of kind of your point of view. You don't really have it there to be so bald. But I was getting some other weird reactions as well from friends. They were like, you know what, it's okay. You're really lucky. You have a lovely head. Because <laughs> that drives the lads wild, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, she looks like a big toe. <laughs> I can't wait to teabag her. <laughs> doesn't really happen. So I had seven months of chemotherapy, lads. Seven months. And I lost all my hair, all my hair and my head, my face, my bits, you know. <laughs> Father O'Brien was making a serious number of uh, house calls. <laughs> Again, Catholic, you'll get it. He's freaking out like he knows Father O'Brien, you know him, yeah? <laughs> Did he touch you too? <laughs> he said I was the only one, you prick! <laughs> and you have butcher balls. <laughs> anyway, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Lost all my hair. I, I looked like a fucking ball bag. It was horrific. Um, but yeah. I was also getting all sorts of weird advice. I'm just looking at my hand because I don't remember anything. I'm blonde. It's the chemo. Um, <laughs> so I was getting all sorts of weird advice. Loads of people giving me sort of medical advice, saying stuff like, uh, you know what you should do? Uh, you should um, rub yourself in dandelion leaf and dance in the moonlight. You, s you should sing Aha in a glen uh, while covered in elf juice. <laughs> you should uh, suck on pomegranate seeds while touching yourself with a pogo stick. <laughs> you should cover your tits in ass hair. I don't know. All this kind of shit. But th the other weird shit I was getting, I got this really weird bit of advice. Esoteric breast massage. Has anyone heard of this? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's had it. <laughs> then you know. <laughs> Esoteric. Yeah, she does. Esoteric. Esoter it sounds like getting molested by a ghost. <laughs> fucking hell, fucking hell. So anyway, lads, so I had seven months of chemotherapy. I had two operations and a month of radiotherapy. So I had basically nine months of uh, treatment. And I was under strict instructions. No drinking for nine months. A fucking hell. Nine months. Irish birth control, lads. That's what that is. That's what that is. And I bet you, and it's the doctors who are telling you all this. And I bet you the doctors are the ones who go fucking mad at the weekends, you know? They're like, don't do that. Yeah. And nurses. Use your nurses. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> don't do that. Don't touch this. Go to bed early, you know? <laughs> don't wake. You'll go blind. <laughs> and you're going fucking mad every night. I know. I can see. I can see. 
You don't have uh, long fingernails on your right hand, so I can tell. Like. <laughs> Guys, we're going to crack. <laughs>